Hello, good morning. Hola, aloha, buenos dias. <laughs> I, happy Saturday. What a glorious day it is. What is flying around? Did I just inhale bugs? <sighs> There's like a little white buggy. <laughs> and he turned around and looked at me like, you okay? This is like, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of ash or there is another one. Oh no, they're fly, flying things. There was a whole group of these little white flying things. Well, that was freaky, wasn't it? First, we're gonna start out with my very first text message I received this morning from Joan. <laughs> oh, God love her. She sent me a text message and she said, I see a sign on your door. She asked me if I was quarantined. <laughs> I said, no. No, I'm not quarantined. I said, it's kind of a long story, but the short version is I had to take a rock and bust out my window to get back in the house. Hello, plane. Gosh, do you have to be so loud? Oh, oh stepped in a hole. See, I told you, I always find the holes. <laughs> my mom also told me when I was driving that I always found the holes because I would hit every one of them. I was like, I don't do it on purpose. Is this hair not fabulous today? I mean, can we take a break and mention the fabulousness of the hair? I don't know what happened. I blow dry it the same all the time, so I don't know why we got such poofiness today, but I'm here for it, okay? I got the big hair going on. Mm. Okay, moving on from Joan and the, am I under quarantine? <laughs> uh, next part, the locksmith. I had called the locksmith who told me it would be $50 to just to show up. And I called Tommy while well, I texted her and then she drove down and she said, do you remember when we called the locksmith to the office and he charged us $300 to unlock an interior door? She said, it's going to be cheaper to replace that glass. And I was like, you know what? You are so right. I had forgot about that, $300. My dad said, all you do is get the glass out and then you put this one in there. He said, there should be a metal clip to hold it in place and then you caulk it. It's not one huge piece of glass. Each pane has its own glass. My dad has the same exact door, which just so happened to be on the house when I moved in. I didn't buy this door. It just worked out that way. When I decided that yes, I was gonna pick up the rock, I said, I'll cancel the locksmith. And she said, well, wait and see if it works. <laughs> Let's wait and make sure we can knock a hole in it. And I hit it once, you know, and it didn't really do anything. And I hit it again and it did something. I picked up the phone and called the locksmith and said, sorry, found a key. <laughs> Not really, I didn't find a key, but I got in. And then the next part to the story that was so funny that came to me later was she said, we need a big rock. And I was like, well, I have rocks over here. And I went and picked up about the size of the palm of my hand, size rock, you know, it's a good size rock. She goes, no, we need a big rock and maybe a brick. I'll go down to the house and get a brick. And I was like, but the brick will tear up my blinds. Now I work for a blind company that installed these blinds, okay? And she was like, I'm pretty sure we could get those blinds replaced. I think I know some people. <laughs> I was like, I know, but <laughs> I don't want to tear up my blinds. I think the little rock will work. And then later I thought about it. I have this tool that I carry around in my purse. It has all kinds of features on it, but one of those features is to break a window like out of a car. Like if a dog's locked in a car or a baby's locked in the car. Yeah, Tracy, let's go with the human before the dog, but whatever. It has this sharp point on it and yeah, it's supposed to break the glass easily, but stand by. Guess who got a treat? Penny, Penny, what you got in your mouth? Huh? What you got? <laughs> Naomi came running outside and gave her a treat. So she has been <laughs> petted on by Miss Tommy and by Naomi, and she has gotten a treat. So she's having a really good morning. Now then, 
So anyway, I thought that was funny because she wanted to throw like a whole entire brick through it. And I was like, I don't, I don't think we need to go that extreme. I think just a simple rock tapping because they're just single pane windows. It's a very old door. Doing that, turning that around reminds me of my mother. <laughs> I was thinking about it this morning. Do y'all FaceTime people? I used to FaceTime my mom all the time or she would FaceTime me. And when she first started FaceTiming me, it was when she was still up and active and she would rearrange something and then she would want to show me something. So on FaceTime, they have a flip button. So all you do is hit the little flip button and it'll turn the camera around and then you can hit it again and turn it back around to face you, right? My mom, I would be like yelling into the phone. It's at the bottom. It looks like this. You know, I'm trying to get her to flip the camera around because she's trying to show me something. And she's like, can you see it? Can, can you see it? Can, can you see it? And I'm like, mom, just turn the camera around. Or she would do like this. Do you see it? Do you see it? And she wouldn't be watching where she was showing that reminded me of my mother when I just did that. But I was thinking about FaceTiming this morning anyway, because have you ever been in maybe a compromising position and someone calls you on FaceTime? It was last year, but I was sitting in the bathtub and my coworker, Danny, <laughs> not that it matters who it was, but it was a man, called me FaceTime. I was terrified to even touch the phone until he finally hung up because I was afraid I would hit the wrong button and answer the phone. Now, granted, granted, granite, granite countertops, granted, I could have held the phone up like this so he could not see anything, but I didn't even want to do that, you know? We're not friends like that. I mean, I don't know that I'd want to really do that with anyone, really, because that just seems a little awkward. Mm, awkward to answer the phone when you're sitting in the bathtub on FaceTime. Now, I will answer the phone if I'm in the bathtub and it's like Kim or Trina or somebody calling me like that, that they're used to my shenanigans of being in the bathtub when they call or whatever, but... Yeah, that took me back to my mama trying to FaceTime me. Then as she aged, things got a little more confusing. And when you look at the list of phone calls, it says Tracy, FaceTime. And then it'll say like Tracy, which is the regular call. And she would call me on the FaceTime, but thought she was calling me the other way. So I would answer the FaceTime and it would be like this. And I would say, hello, and she would go, hey. And I'm like, mom, you're on FaceTime. And she's like, huh? And I'm like, mom, all I can see is your ear. That's all I can see is your ear hole. Can you pull, can you pull the phone away from your ear? And then she's in the dark, She, you know, cause she used to go to bed early and she would call me from her room in the dark and then she would be like this, and then she would be like trying to talk to me like this. And I'm like, Mom, I, can can we hang up and I'm going to call you back? Because I, either either FaceTime me and talk to me or let's go the other way because I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know. I don't, I don't want to look up your nose holes or in your ear hole. <laughs> Sometimes she would actually fall asleep on the phone and she would just lay it down and I would be looking at the ceiling. I, I would just hang up because I'd be like, Mom, you okay? And then I'd hear her. I was like, well, she's asleep. <laughs> she's asleep. She went to sleep on me. But I used to love to FaceTime her. But I told y'all the worst incident ever was when I FaceTimed her and my dad answered the phone and carried the iPad up the stairs to give it to her and he fell and broke his leg going up the stairs. That was 
the worst FaceTime ever. My phone's ringing, I'll be back. Now then, what is that? <laughs> now then, I'm on my way to Home Depot, hopefully to get a piece of glass. I put on my heavy duty, thick Harley Davidson black leather gloves. That's right. I have Harley gloves, yes I do. For the one time that I've ridden a Harley. <sighs> whatever but I used those and I pulled the rest of the glass out of the frame and then I took a knife because there was some still stuck down in there and I dug all the rest of the little glass shards out and as a secret I use masking not masking tape uh, I mean but you could I was using painters tape to press down to get the teeny tiny little shards of glass. I would stick them to the painter's tape. Yeah, so anyway, long story shorter, hmm, hmm, she says, hmm. I got all the glass out. So now I'm going to buy a piece of glass and I already have caulking that I bought a few weeks ago. So I'm good to go if I can just get the right size glass. Anyway, moving on. So I friended this person a couple of months ago on Facebook. She is a friend of a friend. I don't think she watches my page. Her name is Bobby, and I do have a Bobby that watches my page, but it's not the same Bobby. But this Bobby, I, I, I've never seen her comment, so I don't know. But it doesn't matter because I thought it was the funniest story. So, on Facebook last week, I put pictures of several of the dogs that either I've had or my mom has had had over the years. Phoebe was one of those pictures that I put on Facebook. Little Phoebe, the little Bichon Phoebe. And Bobby commented on the picture and she said, oh, how cute. I just ran into a woman at whatever store and she had a little Pomeranian she was so cute. The first thing she said was, oh, how cute. So I was responding to that. And I said, thank you. She was my mom's dog. She said, oh, I can't believe it. It's such a small world. I saw her at such and such store and I was able to pet the dog. She's so sweet. And I was like, I mean, Phoebe passed on to Glory in 2014. How do you remember that you met my mother and Phoebe? Right? I mean, I'm totally confused. And I was like, huh? You met my mom and Phoebe? <laughs> and she goes, I saw your mom today in this store with the little Pomeranian. I said, if that was my mom, then I'm gonna be really upset with her that she didn't come see me because my mom passed away in 2019 and the dog passed away in 2014. And she's not a Pomeranian. Uh, I mean, she's a Bichon. So I, it was so funny though. She, I know she felt horrified about it, <laughs> but I thought it was so funny because she said, well, I said that I saw this lady and her dog and you said, thank you, she was my mom's. And I was like, well, yeah, cause you commented on the picture of the Bichon. Just reserved parking places for curbside pickup. Anyway, it was the funniest thing because she thought the woman that she ran into at the store that day was my mom. Now, how would I know that, I mean, I guess I would know if my mom went to some store because we did talk every day. But yeah, I was like, no, that's not my mom. And if that was my mom, I'm mad at her because she could, should have come to see me while she was out and about. <laughs> anyway, I'm going in Home Depot to get some glass. Wish me luck. I thought I grabbed my current glass of tea that I've been drinking on. And I just took a big old swig of it. And it's yesterday's watered down version of tea. I was like, 
I thought I washed all the dishes this morning. This one must have been hiding. Sometimes my brain don't be working properly because I was just about to have a panic attack because I couldn't find the keys to my house again. Knowing good and well that I just went in Home Depot and took the keys in there and made two extra sets of them because my dad swears the keys are there. We just need to find them. Even if I left my keys there, which I didn't, because I put them in my pants pocket. But even if I did, I got two more sets over here. <laughs> I'll be back. Now then, <laughs> I'm home and my dad came over to take a professional look at the door <laughs> situation. Okay, so this has some trim I'm doing like my mama did. You see this right here? This right here is a piece of trim. And I was trying to explain to my dad that it has grooves, you know, for the glass to go in. And he was thinking it would have those metal clips, which I did buy some metal clips at Home Depot because <laughs> I... Yeah, anyway, because I thought I would have to put them in there. And he was like, well, no, since it has grooves, you're going to have to put it in the groove because Stella needs her groove back. So anyway, I am trying to remove the trim. And then I can measure, I can place the piece of glass in here, and then I can replace the trim. And I bought a glass cutter at Home Depot and I bought two pieces of glass because each piece of glass was like $4.38. A whole lot cheaper than a locksmith, am I right? So it said to practice on one piece of glass, you've got to take your glass cutter and rub it back and forth across a piece of glass to kind of rough it up, I guess before you actually use it on your project. So anyway, I'm gonna wear my black leather gloves and I'm gonna try, I'm gonna practice cutting glass. But if I can't get it to work, Ryan will be at the office on Monday. I will take this piece of glass to him with the glass cutter and all the things and the proper measurements. And I will say, please cut this glass for me and then I'll bring it home. I told dad, I said, it's not an emergency because I, you know, my storm door is dead bolted and I do have that kick thing that goes under the door and they're going to have to make a lot of money, <clears throat> a lot of noise to get in the house. Am I right? <laughs> and then they're going to be met with the sound of a, ch -ch, you know, the slide coming back on the thing, you know, on that, on that thing. Well, first they're going to be met with Penny growling and then they're going to hear that sound. <laughs> And then <laughs> they best be turning around and getting out of my house. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. I hope he's coming back soon because these people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will be tomorrow, good Lord willing. Because I do be posting every day. Toodles, manoodles. Stay silly, my friends. <laughs>